On Edge Elastic, status tracking on assessments is key to making sure that your data is as accurate and up-to-date as possible. To status track, we need to go to the Assignments tab in the gray navigation bar. Here, I'll see a list of my assessments and the current status that they're in. If I have quite a bit of assessments here, it might be easier to use the filter options on the left side and choose a status if needed. This class is currently in the not open status on the passage test. This means that the window is not here yet or I need to manually open this assessment. To manually open the assessment, I just simply click on the live class board icon here and then I'll click the open button at the top. Now that I've opened that assessment, when I go back to my assignments tab, you'll now see that class says in progress. The next class and assessment here says in grading. It says three students have been submitted, but none of them have been graded. I need to find out which students have submitted and which students have not. In grading means that the assessment window is closed and that fourth student who has not submitted yet no longer has access to that assessment. I'll go ahead and click on the live class board icon. Here's my three students that are all in grading and need me to grade. And here's the fourth student who's considered absent. At this point, I need to decide if this student should have access to the test. If so, I'll click on the box and then redirect it to the student. If not, I need to click on the box, click more, and remove the student. For the three students that are in grading, I just simply need to click on question one, go through their answers, and give them the points that they deserve. Now that they've all gotten their points, I'll go back to the Assignments tab. On the Assignments tab, you'll now see that that assessment says Done. Three of the four students are submitted, and all three are graded. That fourth student, if it was redirected, would change the status to In Progress, since that student would be in progress on the assessment. If I remove that student, it would just simply say three out of three. The next class here in Assessment says In Progress. This is similar to the status above, and this is because students are still taking this assessment. Out of nine students, two of those students have submitted the assessment, and both of them are graded. I'll go ahead and click on the live class board just to check the status and make sure students have access like they're supposed to. In this case, it looks like student 10 and student 9 have not started the test. Student 1, 4, 2, and 6 are all in the redirected status, which means that I sent the test back to them. I'll go ahead and leave it as is because I want my students to go in and finish this test. And finally, the done status, which we mentioned earlier. This is when the assessment is done and closed. And in this case, all four students are submitted and graded. There's no extra action needed for me here because it's already in the done status and it's already closed. I can go to the live class board, express grader, or the standard space reporting to look at the data a little bit deeper and try to get an understanding of how the students performed on that assessment. It is important to try and get each of these statuses to not only say done, but also to have this first number match your second number. So then that way, all of the students that were assigned that test did submit and were graded on that assessment. Ultimately, your graded should also match that submitted number to make sure that all of the students are graded and there's nothing left for you to do. The last thing I can mention here is that there is the option to unassign an assessment. Unassigning an assessment is a very specific use case and could result in a loss of data. For this reason, we only suggest unassigning if you do not plan on giving that assessment to your students and none of the students have taken it yet. Again, if you were to unassign from an assessment that's already been submitted, you're removing those results and they're not recoverable. In this case, I just realized that this assessment was assigned to my algebra class. They don't need a passage-based test. So what I'll do is I'll check the submitted and graded and make sure there's no data here. And then I'll click the actions and unassign button. Again, unassigning removes this test from your assignments list and will result in permanent deletion of student responses from the assigned classes. I'll go ahead and confirm and yes, unassign. Now, all that's left is to wait for this assessment to be done by my Algebra 2 Period 1 Kindle class.